Hi, my name is Michael Johnson with Film Compass. Join me today as we discover all the fun things you can do in the small town of Tiburon. In today's video, we'll catch a ferry ride to Tiburon, do some shopping downtown, eat some delicious food, take a stroll along the shore, and learn a thing or two about the town's history. First on the list, you won't want to miss out on taking a ferry ride across the bay. Ferry service to Tiburon leaves from the main ferry building at the end of Market Street with the Golden Gate Ferry Fleet. Round trip tickets will cost you about $28, while the trip itself can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on if there is a stop at Angel Island along the way. The best part about riding the ferry is that it's a great way to take in all the sights surrounding San Francisco. When you depart from the ferry building, you'll get a great view of San Francisco's skyline. On a clear day, it truly is one of my favorite views in the entire city. Further on your journey, you'll pass by Alcatraz Island in the distance, then take a sharp turn around Angel Island, the largest island in San Francisco's bay. Once you pass Angel Island, you'll be very close to docking in Tiburon. One of the best reasons to visit this small town is to explore the shops that reside here. Downtown Tiburon is a great place to start your shopping adventure during your visit here. Taking a walk down Main Street, you'll find small boutiques with many items you'd be hard pressed to find anywhere else. Two boutiques come to mind when visiting here. First, there's LLFA with its stylized fashion designer clothing and a friendly staff to greet you. Next, there's Main Street Mercantile with its variety of beautiful clothing and decor, perfect for the home. Taking a stroll through downtown and discovering its many shops and restaurants should definitely be on your to-do list when visiting this small town. Next on the list, we're gonna eat some fantastic food at Sam's Cafe. Sam's Anchor Cafe has been feeding diners for over 100 years and is a must dining experience when visiting Tiburon. As you eat, you'll be surrounded by the many boats and yachts that dock here with views of the San Francisco Bay and Angel Island in the distance. Brunch with a large order of French toast is my go-to when visiting here, but dinner and lunch are fantastic as well. Once you've had your fill of shopping and eating, it's time to stretch your legs with a nice walk along Shoreline Path. This path is very near downtown, and at just a quarter mile long, or about half a mile round trip, it's a great way to work off all that food. Along your walk, you may even make a friend or two, as the residents of Tiburon are a very welcoming bunch. The best part about walking along this path has to be the view that stretches far into the distance. With many sailboats going by you along your walk and Angel Island to keep you company in the distance, it's easy to spend a morning here and be glad you came all this way. On your way back into town though, you should really consider taking a peek inside a building that will take you back in time and show you what this place really used to look like. Last on the list is the old Tiburon Ferry and Railroad Museum. Located on the waterfront of Tiburon, this museum is home to a very large scale train model. The museum covers Point Tiburon's past as a sprawling industrial town and its use of trains and ferries to connect the town's fleet to the rest of Northern California. If you're a train buff or simply want to learn the history of Tiburon, then take a step into this museum to see just how far back this town's history goes. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed this list of fun things to do in Tiburon. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.